So, out of all of the Maxor videos, uh, we're going to start with the ones that kind of kicked him off, so to speak. The one that I hear everyone talking about, which is, of course, as soon as I get the thing up, there we go. His and an and incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising. These are these are like I think the first videos that I heard of from him. Um, I know Metal Gear Rising. I have played it. It's a really freaking fun game. I love the insanity, the craziness, and like, and having played like the other Metal Gear games and then playing Rising, like you can't you I, it it's so far away from. How Metal Gear normally plays. And I absolutely love it. I love all of the bosses. I love the soundtrack. The soundtrack is goddamn gorgeous. And it has some pretty cool bosses as well. Um, so. I'm just going to jump into it. Going to enjoy my snack pot while I'm doing it. And again hopefully. like uh, Hopefully the, aud the audio of the video is good. And hopefully. I won't munch too loudly. And also, uh, <laughs> and also, hello, cute soldier. You are allowed to say first. That is all right. Uh, the chat police is fine, but it is also kind of a bad me, so I do understand why I wrote that. But anyway, um, I hope you guys. I trust you guys in the chat to tell me if the audio is good. So let's just Metal Gear get. Rising. Oh, oh Jesus! Let's just get right to it with an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising, and I hope that even with my ADHD, that I can keep up with it. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is not a word in the dictionary. It's also one of my favorite games, besides Genshin Impact, created as a spin-off. Okay, we're less than 10 seconds into this, and I can already... <laughs> so much is happening in the first... Okay, this is what we're in for, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go back, take it from the top one more time. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is not a word in the dictionary. It's also one of my favorite games, besides Genshin Impact. Created as a spin off right. critically acclaimed to Metal Queer Solid 4, Friends <laughs> of the Pirates. We are cast as Raiden, whose resume involves fighting the Illuminati and a bisexual vampire, trading off slow stealth yeah, that happened. And conference calls of an I mean. duration for pulse pounding. Oh, wait, 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 wait. For some reason, the chat isn't showing. Why why isn't just Oh right because I did the freaking thing. Wait, one sec. Live editing! Scuffing is a great thing, isn't it? There we go. Now people can see probably. Action gameplay, unique cutting mechanics, and the stupidest plot of any game since uh, the last one. You know, the one where Headache Pajingles puts his protagonist in a microwave. Now caught in a worldwide conspiracy headed by an evil and destructive empire called the United States. It's up to us to stop Senator Dwayne The Rock Johnson from becoming black, fight cyborg dinosaurs. Excuse me, what? In a worldwide conspiracy headed by an evil and destructive empire called the United States. It's up to us to stop Senator Dwayne The Rock Johnson from becoming black, fight cyborg dinosaurs controlled by orphans, and fight a series of extremely online YouTube personas for, such as Jack Bezos, the Nintendo Virtual Boy, and Markiplier. I'm gonna come find you. Set to the tune of a hardcore rock soundtrack made by the world-famous Toontown Online composer for the express purpose of killing anyone above 40. And to complete our journey, we will have to resort to... This is just accurate history lesson. I mean, yeah. Restricted brutality, cutting and slicing our enemies like a human-sized slap chop in between philosophy about the nature of conflict, the morality of separating families the hard way, and memes. They made Twitter into a plot point. So if any of that interests <laughs> you, really feel did. free to join me as we dive headlong into the wonderful madness of Metal Gear Rising Revan Gians and the voices <laughs> now activated. Yeah, I realized you were just like me trying to make history. Now again! Oh, I just realized there was a bunch of... Boy, I I was too busy singing along to that banger of a song that I realized there were actually like voice credits, so... Let me... I know I'm doing this a lot, I'm sorry YouTube! Let me just quickly go back... I'm also sorry chat, but let me quickly go back and catch the voice credits. Okay. Uh... Rimmy! Like, Rimmy Down Under? 
So we boot up the game, but it doesn't support high resolutions. To fix this, we head to NeoGAF and download a virus. Now I can do any resolution. What amazing game. Oh my god. It begins in the 2009 color scheme with our hero Raiden protecting President Barfsack Crumbo. <laughs> He's touring his birthplace of Kenya. I am uh, President United States Obama. Mr. President, you have dementia. Uh, drone strike the wedding. That can be arranged. What the fuck was that? Insurance fraud. Why, hello there. Would you care to see my RGB lighting? I spent $3,000. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh. <laughs> Sir, it's a Wendy's. Then. What the actual hell? Yeah, the, the game is crazy. Oh shit, he's got RGBs. Let's get the fuck out. I guess you could say he's half the man he once was. His oh, theme is so Obama. glad. I have a shit my doo doo ass. Don't worry, Obama. I'll protect you from this sidewalk. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the first enemy in the game. Now he's the first 100 enemies in the game. This is the standout <laughs> feature of Metal Gear Rising. The ability to cut anything, and I do mean anything. Nature I'm just gonna make sure that the... Okay, there we go. Top quality. Sure. Humans, telepathic traffic... Oh yeah, that's much better. Four, ...and even staircases that are required to progress... <laughs> yeah! Game, I, I think <laughs> yeah, if you... If you're slashing around a bit too much at the, at the at this part of the game, you can actually soft lock the game. Because you slice the stairs and you can't get back up. Like... I kind of love that that is the thing that 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 have that, that you can end up doing this game. I think that's an oversight. This was groundbreaking stuff for the PS3. Use it to hit weak points, confuse your enemies and prevent them from attacking or accelerate deforestation. What are you doing, Raiden? Most animals deserve to be extinct. Where the fuck is Raiden? Hang on, I think I'm hearing uh, boss music. A robot denied his tax fraud. My game crashed. I'm just oh. gonna, uh, run past everyone. Uh, Joe Biden, please help me pass the health care. Health care, you say? I'm a specialist. Ah, a new customer. Mm. What the dog is talking about the dog. Let's hope Obamacare covers euthanasia. My name is Obama. I, uh... Shut up. Stop right there. Put down President Bumcrack Osama. I'll put him down, all right. But no, I have a giant robot. Federal agent spotted initiating. Why didn't I see that? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the tutorial boss. Yeah. You're only undergoing a learning experience, the one you can only get with a giant laser. This is maybe the best game ever made. And although the gameplay is a little simple, the sheer scale makes me feel both empowered and quite intimidated. It's just a wonderful way to do it when you don't look like a cracked up rooster. Of course, there's no need to worry because right in his and then there's jacked. this the last one is <laughs> so wait <laughs> the funds for the rest of the sea was to metal gear survive <laughs> Oh boy! Accomplished. So Raiden runs all the way to a locomotive to confront Dimes for Crimes, led by none other than Buff Bezos. Uh, Mitch McConnell, uh, please join us. Why do our politicians hog all the good missiles? Obama! Your prime has expired, Raiden, and so has his life. Nice. It's time for the next boss fight. I say that sarcastically because yep. most people would classify it as a fucking suicide. I'm surprised this is on the train instead of in front of it. Face it, Jack, you can't even hold a sword. What the fuck is a sword? I could give you a demonstration, but first, what's your favorite hand? Well, my left. Great. <laughs> Please tell me he keeps his sword. Oh, uh, he, he kept out the best part of that scene. He slices Jack's hand off, and Jack's response is, Damn it, not again. <laughs> Just the kind of game we're in. Look like just enough XP. Oh fuck, he's using bullets. Need a hand, Raiden. Also, who am I? Persona. Was that, I, I believe that was before the Persona 5 music. So at least two minutes pass, and Raiden is traversing the vacuum of space on his way to the. 
Colonel, I'm trying to fly around, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting Raiden, me. I'm playing Genshin Impact, but <laughs> I've run out of credit card debt to purchase Ganyu. So if you can, can you lend me a, a hand? I, I will sh I have not played Genshin Impact. I have no comments on it. Surely stop collecting them. You have a problem. So after the roughest plane ride since Delta, we head to a third world shithole known as Russia to find the men who killed President Bumsack of Chungus and put an end to their illegal razor blade factory. Wait a second, where's the runway? Finally equipped with his new customizable gamer mouse body, Raiden begins his journey by encountering three helpless victims, knocking them to the air and scooping out their spines like fucking ice cream. You see, this is actually our primary method of healing, since yeah. every spine is filled to the brim with delicious electrolytes. This is the Noise actual spines. term used in the game. Yeah. Just like American football, the soldiers of the future are fueled by Gatorade. We, however, are fueled by violence. Oh, hang on one second, I've got a call. You should kill yourself now! So anyways, we head to the streets right. to get acquainted with the stealth, but unfortunately for the populace, it's completely optional. So instead, we decide to fight the foot fetish tank. And let me tell you, this enemy is, is real fun to kill, especially considering they're fucking... Those jokes. things are and annoying. There really is no time between these cutscenes. Oh, fuck. No it's spotted. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. It's the boy. It's the doggo. What the dog doing now? <laughs> <laughs> what the dog? Who the fuck is a dog? You are such a fucking Philistine, Raiden. Wait, how do you know my name? I am pre-programmed with knowledge of everyone. Oh yeah? Yes. Who's your owner then, little dog? The NSA. But my handler is a white woman. Damn, that's rough. I will never eat peanut butter ever again. For our next battle, we okay. have Blade Wolf. Jesus. And let me say, if you don't know how to parry more than one attack, it's um time to learn. I um uh, don't know what attack this is. What the hell? Fortunately, Blade Wolf will stop yiffing and call in Meals on Wheels, which allows us I to partake I will name the dog Foul the Wolf. Also, what I mean, I did just adjust the volume a little bit. I the hope it's okay. The power of Jesus Please tell me if it's, we like, good enough. to a kill shelter, and then he monologues. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. Somehow, I've arrived at the it's, Bitcoin it's, it's, factory. This is AI. I've been moderating thing. you at Twitch for months, and you never told me you're the boyfriend. Who are you? Oh my god, she spoke to me. Jesus fucking Christ. Raiden, watch out. That woman is live on Twitter. Now sufficiently disturbed, Raiden moves on to the best level in the game using my favorite really? mechanics. Inconvenient fencing, handy enemies with cool controls, and uh -huh. you better believe there's some bad stealth. It even has cameras with I believe he's being vision. sarcastic. Just don't uh, just step into the, the lasers. Fucking... <laughs> oh my god, it's a woman. Please stop that. I've been waiting for you, Raiden. <laughs> Shout out to Big Chungus 29 for the donation. <laughs> Can you stay back? Sorry, Jack, but my stream demands you die. God. She said they made her into an e-girl. I wish that was me. That can be arranged. Welcome to the world's first boss fight, where the battle is against your own controller. Provided, of With course, a that I don't throw that shit against the wall. In this confrontation, we fight the dark-skinned tomboy GF that I've always dreamed of, juggling and slaughtering several varieties of jihadist Bakugan. If I were forced to describe the experience, it would be Poggers or perhaps Papega, especially after Raiden achieves the miracle of flight when you fire the animators. But despite some of the <laughs> occasional frustration, this battle is one of the best. Plus, I, uh, I like like it when women hit me. Place where I believe. I used to be slightly yeah, obsessed with cool that theme. Music, bitch. Wait, what? Yeah, that's some cool theme music, bitch. It really is. It really is. Also cool because she was turned to ice. <laughs> purpose in life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. Uh, I see. Alright. Streamers in 3000 assassins. You are Indeed. truly weird, champ. I is that a bad thing? You make me want to kill myself faster, but no matter. With my death, you will never find our secret base at 29th Avenue, Mexico City. What the fuck? These are the coordinates. God damn. I'm turned on. Right, we need to pick you up. That's okay. Location. I'm... I, I'm in a Chinese factory. Now equipped with a solid lead for his Metal Gear Rising Revengeance 2013 video game. It's up to Sonic the Edgehog to make his way to the city of Mexico. That's not complete Shadow. With his 50 pounds of smuggled cocaine and a stolen Mercedes. Raiden, are, are you wearing a sombrero? It's my disguise. I'm trying to blend in. You are trying to give me a fucking brain aneurysm. Your destination is on the right. <laughs> 
I love this game. <laughs> now it's time for Raiden and his small pit bull to make their descent into Fallout 3. Hey, what's up gamers? Maxor here, and today we're gonna be questioning why Blade Wolf is packing an entire bakery. Better keep playing the game to bleach my eyes. <laughs> I have not played any of the Yakuza games, but I do know of Goro Majima and his shenanigans. And apparently his uh his thing is of appearing out of trash cans and like manholes. It's a thing apparently. Hey, we are being beat to death by a group. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It, it's a you know Majima apparently. apparently. We're having more trouble with Harambe than a giant robot. Raiden opens him up like a Pokemon fan after ripping out his organs. Thank God that's the only enemy. Uh, uh, otherwise, I'd have problems. Oh my God! It's a Smash tournament. I have to stop it. Oh good, new enemies. I was just about to run out of those. Okay, but seriously, this enemy uh, doesn't want to hit me. It's all right. I don't have a Twitter account. You speak oh, English? what the fuck is he saying? You're playing into the whole series. Awesome. You repeat that. Listen, I don't know what a McDonald's does. After abandoning a child to his death, we're finally able to play the rest of the level. Raiden equips a cardboard box once used in a famous, well-known video game series called Smash Brothers. That's Wario, Snake. He also attacks by farting. Now you too can remain undiscovered in any public park. Oh, fuck. Let's just move on. Now finished with the ape exhibit, we're finally free to explore the secret base entirely without suspicion. For two minutes. In that time, it's up to Raiden to escort an entire congregation to meet God. Stealth is of course optional, but so is my mercy. Now heading oh, to the shit. confessional, Raiden finds something that... Holy hell! Mm. It's a funny raid! Hello everybody! Oh shit, hey Neville! It's the, the buddy rave. How are you doing, buddy? Oh. <laughs> oh, for all of you in uh, for Neville's stream who are new, hello! Uh, my name is Johnny Inferno. I am uh, a variety streamer slash PNG VTuber for now. Um, of course, also partially flesh tuber. Uh, I, I, stre I stream games and reaction streams. Right now, we are reacting to uh, Maxor videos. This one being an incorrect summary of Middle Gear Rising Part 1. Hello everyone! I didn't expect- Hey devil! <laughs> How did the stream go, buddy? Uh, I saw that you were playing, uh, Ace Attorney. Did you- did you object a lot? Did- did, did you get to do that? Oh, how are you everybody? Alright, gotta, uh, uh, press continue button. Welcome. <laughs> he was never supposed to see. Today was not a tour day. Oh, I thought that I thought the the server said that. Did I see wrong? Did I see wrong? I saw wrong. My bad. My bad, fam. My bad. But I hope you still had a fun stream, Neville, my boy. Now back to Gen C editing. All right, this part. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this game for a while. Play some good old Gary's mod. We get a call from Boris Johnson, and he tells us that the baddies are keeping the brains of children in Futurama jars, piloting the various zoo exhibits we fought on our journey. And to figure out why, we sneak in using a wasted game mode. This lasts an entire minute. If you don't walk past everyone, using some proprietary software, we assume the role of the US government and spy on the bad guys' webcams. Before selling them crack, their evil and dastardly plan is to restart the war economy by fueling conflict in Syria and Donbass, then making a gigantic profit by selling weaponized baby shark to the military. But instead of selling a Boston yeah. Dynamics dog like normal people, they figured the best way to create a robot army was to consult Mr. Epstein. So with our next target identified, we advance further until we find the giant robot. And if My brain stopped after all my brain power went to finding a better solution than the gay would let me have. Oh boy, yeah, I know that feeling. You try to come up with like your own strategies, your own solution, then the game is like, you dummy, you're supposed to do that. <laughs> I know that feeling. It's frustrating. 
this hallway has anything to say about it, we're in for a fun boss fight. Raiden endures eight hours of being stuck while this boss playing fight. his reverse Uno card and trapping it in a corner for up uh, two minutes, dicing up his armor and clapping him faster than that family on the highway in my Ford Mustang. Don't worry, he's a what? basic enemy in the next mission. Oh my god, I can't possibly cut through glass. Stop right there, Raiden, or I'll blow this child. Who is that? His head. I'll blow his head open. <laughs> Wait, are you for real? I don't have time for this conversation. Children are in danger. Do you know what a gun does. What's a gun? Yeah, you were very good at using that gun. So at least nine seconds happen and Ride Inside is driving to hell, all the while taking his eyes off the road with some CNN. Oh sweet, my programming is on. Super Idol Di Charo, Domain. You know, America isn't so bad after all. After being in Mexico for so long, I'm starting to miss how peaceful it can be, especially the police. Oh god. Raiden evades the evil forces of big sobriety as they attempt to suppress another innocent drunk driver, careening through the nightmare known as Denver before encountering the police budget. Ah, uh, oh god. Skip it about and showing off his toned legs. Wait a second, boys. He's white. I'm sorry, <laughs> officer. I was just so busy playing legal. <laughs> oh god, I needed to recover from that one. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, he's white. <laughs> ah, ah, oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I was not prepared for that one. Toned legs. Wait a second, boys. He's white. I'm sorry, officer. I was just so busy playing League of Legends. All right, I've heard enough. Deadly force authorized. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we are forced to fight the hypothetical dystopian scenario where the government and police are influenced by corporations. Specifically, the corporation uh, where, that we've come where to I am heading to Croatia with my family. Um... I'm gonna be there for the, for the next, like, week and a half. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's the first time I've ever been there, so yay, yay. Uh, going to huge chimney that I clearly can go down. Nope, invisible wall. I'll find a wall in the black rusty wall to look in the black rusty room to shoot a button to open it or go inside. But all this was underwater. <laughs> oh, you had a moment and a half, my friend. Oh, sorry for your brain. Although, Joe Ryden seems to be fighting their army of interns because most of them use a stick. Besides, of course, the military-grade Roombas, Ryden heads into an office through the organs of an officer and inside the biggest elevator ever made. We take it down the hard way. Also, they forgot to limit my turn speed. There's even a subway section with this cool new enemy that I've never seen before. I don't think anything can ruin this. What's up, gamers? God damn it. Let me tell you something important, Ryden. You're a normie and a beta male cuck. I'm only here to dispense justice. That's cringe, Jack, and your setup is weak. You can't even project yourself onto a building or a billboard. Your clout doesn't mean anything. It's worthless. Cope and seethe, Jack. Why don't you go back to Facebook and post some minion memes? No, that's not the point. Do you see now all this murder and you still aren't based? You bastard. Shut the fuck up and listen for a moment. Oh my god, it's the cringe name, hey baby. Stop right there. What the fuck is wrong with his hair? What are you doing? He looks like Sonic impregnated a vending machine. No, stop. I bet he even has a fake chin. Do you see now, Jack? How can a cringe lord like you ever hope to kill my police officer? Bruh. Bruh. No fuck. So after chopping the authorities so fast that their bodies are steaming, Raiden gains a brain hemorrhage from watching my editing, which affects his movement slightly. <laughs> now emotionally compromised, we head through the mandatory stealth section. You know, eventually. How it, it, pleased you are to somehow. chop away, Jack the Ripper. You could say that. The I'm memes. A fan of what? Your work. My name is Monsoon of the Sussy Imposters. What the fuck? Emergency meeting. Please stop. <laughs> no. There's something genuinely wrong with you. It's just a little trolling, Jack. You're in the land of the free, after all. And your idea of freedom is enslaving children. Do you know what the Civil War was? It's cringe or be cringe, Jack. Soon you'll understand. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all pawns controlled by something greater. Memes, the DNA of the soul. They are our culture, our clout. How about full of shit? Is that a meme? No, it fucking is. The fact, the fact. 
and he wasn't joking with like the real in-game time. He monsoon actually begin to like Ryder is having like a mental breakdown because of everything that, that happened in the chapter before. And he just walks up to him and be like We're pawns to something greater, Jack. It's the memes. <laughs> And like, I understand what he means, but the means. <laughs> Isn't you amoeba? You'll never be based with memes like that. You're right. About me, I mean. What? I thought I could be just like you, but that is a mistake. Perhaps I am cringe, but that makes me free. That's sus. <laughs> Doctor, turn off my cringe inhibitors. But Raiden, you'll lose subscribers. Do it. Okay. I was fucking joking. Why did you do it? You think you can just log off, Jack? I'm starting to see what you're getting at. And if based means what I think it means, then caring about your shitty posts is a long way off. That's rich coming from the likes of you. Family guy funny moment. In this boss fight against the Monsus battle bus, Raiden rages against the moral degeneracy of violence in movies and sex on TV using his good old-fashioned values upon which he used to rely. During which we are subjected to an onslaught of attacks at yeah. average speed before a cheetah. Demand this game, this fight is all about prep. Like this game is bleh. this boss fight is like, have you learned how to block? Do you know how to block? We're gonna test you on the blocking. Time for the blocking test. Yeah, that's, that's what that's what this fight is the absolute most of the player to survive the human spaghetti. So if you thought Blade Wolf was a real fun boss to parry, then I've got news for you. We've got more edge in this fight than Bloodborne on the PlayStation 1. Monsoon <laughs> can fucking teleport. He throws helicopters for fun, and his preferred method of dodging is self-bisection. He knows he's three edges away from being a Sonic OC, and you know what? I fucking dig it. Hell But until the end is clear, and it will go and try to stay in the final hour. Hey, Jack, ever been to the Washington Monument? Oh, God. Thank Another you, bang. Thank you. I spent four days editing that. Now, excuse Hell me yeah. as I take this call. The you are decapitated. Don't worry, it's just a little trolling, <laughs> right? Do not repost my memes back at me. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't worry about that, because your memes end here. Oh, God. I goddamn love this game. <laughs> All this bank, all this sunset, we will not forget a rest on of a paradise. Okay, I've never seen anything, but this is the what? What the fuck is this amazing? <laughs> Neville, you know the Russian badger. Meet his Gen C cousin. <laughs> Basically, Maxor is, uh. Like, like my favorite comparison for Max Warren, he's Russian Badger, yet much faster, much more Gen C humor and editing style. Like, it goes fast. Like, if I was watching this by myself, I would be pausing every other, every other second to, just, like, see whatever the hell he, like, pops up onto the screen. And it's amazing. Alright, then. Time for parsing sons of delivery and do like uh, the 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 series he ha he has for all of these videos are incorrect summary, and it's so and, and I'm doing basically a reaction marathon of Maxor videos right now because I've been wanting to see them for some time now. But anyway, here we are, an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising Part Two: Sons of Obesity. Oh boy. Metal Gear Rising, Sons of Delivery, and Dish Oh, and also, Neville, just a really quick question. How is the volume? Is the volume good? Yeah, is my volume good? Like, are we mixing well, so to speak? Giorno is my favorite political and economic simulator, well intended to teach the player the basics of price slashing and how to best divide the country as quickly as possible. I and I need to rewatch. I caught nothing of what he just said. 
Metal Gear Rising Sons of Delivery and DiGiorno is my favorite political and economic simulator, well intended to teach the player the basics of price slashing and how to best divide the country as quickly as possible. The answer, of course, is manually. In this visually engaging stock market index, we play as Jack the Wood Chipper, a man, probably, on a quest to renew the job market one life at a time. So if you've seen part one of my philosophically charged video essay on the deep and interesting Metal Gear lore, which I totally understand, then welcome back. And if you're viewing this series for the first time, well, that's technically okay. You're just gonna be more confused than an American at a salad bar. What the f <laughs> Oh god, I love this guy. I, I love this man. Oh boy. Last time on Cheers, Metal Gear Raisin, Guns of the Priests. But as for now, our protagonist, Raiden with Biden, is forced to argue with a <laughs> Excuse me, can we have that again? <laughs> but as for now, our protagonist, Raiden with Biden, <laughs> is forced to argue with a I love you can hear he's slightly cracking up. I love it. Capitated head about memes. That's not made up. I know the rest is made up, but that's genuine apple bottom jeans, Raiden. What boots with the fur? <laughs> Fresh off his adventures to the orange dimension and the insides of American police, it's up to our hero to avenge Obama's death through the slaughter of the unmelanated, learning the true meaning of based through many trials, tribulations, and his guest seat at the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, finally God. finding himself at the entrance to Amazon warehouses with manageable stab wounds. Ugh, damn it. I need a token black person. What the fuck? Key and Peele, this blood loss has made me delirious. Tell me a story. There once was a sign. I don't know. Holy shit. Raiden heads into the hotel lobby, hosted by Mr. Mosby. After which, the game sends the ATF to stop me from freeing the Second Amendment. I am forced to take matters into my own hands. This was back when turret sections were the pinnacle of game design. Excuse me, fellas, I'm just heading to the- And most of them were fun. Most of them. Some were not. This normal sized elevator. Raiden, I'm playing another gotcha game. Okay, God please damn it. destroy all records of my credit card debt before the police come. Welcome, one and all across, to a classic stealth game named Metal Gear Solid 2. We're currently undergoing a secret mission to destroy scandalous snake. Excuse Raiden, me? We, we have to prevent Joe Biden's America. You have to stop him. You're too late, Corn Pop. I have already vocoded your voice to Gangster's Paradise. We use our Batman vision to carefully what? locate the bank records and also the rocket launcher. This puzzle is a great great way to simulate the real office experience if you work for Blizzard. So after oh. expunging the records of Overwatch 2, Raiden runs through fucking Black Friday. This makes Vietnam look like clown college. We even have Richard Nixon. <laughs> As you can see, the situation has escalated. <laughs> All right. What is up, gamers? Maxor here, and today we're gonna be entering the, um, the, the what the fuck? <laughs> so it turns <laughs> out that Bezos is a real big fan of Japanese culture. Like, a really big fan of Japanese culture. To the extent that he impact, this apparently. building with ninjas. Don't worry, they still use rockets. The decor is so goddamn oriental, it's killing dolphins. Raiden traverses the Hidden Leaf Village with the DK crew. <laughs> and enters the first elevator built and designed with elephants in mind. Or what? just your mom. Oh! We fight a gauntlet of enemies for several minutes as I reenact my trips to the Humane Society. You will never catch me, nor will you find the weapon. How tall is this fucking building? This is half of the level. So we get off of Mr. Bone's wild ride. <laughs> to booze and cruise all the way to the moon, apparently. What is that music I hear? <laughs> Oh golly, oh Geo Gillibrand. I can't wait to see what the game has in store for me now after uh -huh. all those long combat arena. What? So I want everyone to meet my cool and original boss design named Mistral. This is essentially what the Patriots were doing I the forgot entire time. It AI did Dennis that. Prager was merely a distraction. These fuckers were synthesizing VTubers, so now we're forced to fight their robotic fleshlight and her huge testicles. This battle serves as a great moment to see just how far you've come as a player, both in ability and tolerance. True. The best game mechanic. Don't worry though, I'm still very bad. Oh 
Thank God that shit's over. Now we can move on. Yeah, I totally forgot they did this. Really bold move making me fight Monsoon again after 20 minutes. And yeah, that includes the pants attack. Fucking Skeletron Prime looking ass. I guess you could say a good meme never dies, Jack. God, please take me out of this hell. I've had enough memes today. Look, it, it's Shadow and he, he's a nice cock. Pretend you didn't see anything today. Well, 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 if it ain't the feds. Unhand these brains, Jeff. They're children. And kids are cruel, Jack. They just lose touch with it at the ripe old age of 12. Wait, what? War crime this, can't eat the drywall that. Microwave and mice is wrong, they say. What the fuck? No, what? Look, kids love video games. That's why I got them all set up spinning the wheel on my favorite gotcha games. Ah! How else is a man supposed to make his impact? You refrigerated a preschool for fucking JPEGs. <laughs> you think I made the market for Gone, you Jack? Like every casino is just a big old conspiracy? Yeah. Bullshit. Gambling's just a part of who we are. I just marketed to sexy children. <laughs> And once again, the voice actor is just dying saying these lines. Besides, demand for my products is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. Basically what, what Sundowner is actually saying this is like, it's all about the war effort, war economy, they want to restart the whole war economy thing. Like the good old days after 9-11, YouTube and Twitch, please, this is like... This is like fic... Yeah. Wait a minute, 9-11 is bad. Speak for your <laughs> Wait, what is Good what old that? days after 9-11. Wait a minute, 9-11 is bad. My entire channel was once demonetized for three months because I showed a single picture of 9-11 in 9-11 in an unlisted video. Wow! YouTube is trigger happy at times. Speak for yourself. Let's debate this on the roof. A lot of running. Looks like you're a gotcha player at heart. Is that because of my brain damage? No, it's because you go after children. And there ain't enough room in this preschool for the two of us. Excuse me? No, I didn't. Like I said. Like I oh. said. Kids are cruel, Jack. And I love my <laughs> I should. <laughs> I should have learned. Never drink while the character is talking. <laughs> what the fuck? I I. <laughs> Never drink while a character in a comedy parody video thing is talking. Very bad idea. <laughs> Welcome to the, the Bastard, featuring his tax and this my, is comprised and, and in my opinion, the best boss theme in the game. ...of two distinct phases, each one easier than the last. And okay. for some reason, a helicopter, go-go gadget concealed carry. In this first <laughs> phase, we simulate beating to death a cheeky goblin using money to compensate for his lack of human empathy. And by the second phase, it's quite obvious why he does it. This means it's up to us to cut each shield individually so we can play yeah. the game. And yes, you him. explode when you miss. Not only this, but his health is the length of a Cambodian Life I decided Rex either. Meaning, once you get past that, the fight is basically over. In fact, it's quite easy to just not get past his shields ever and straight up kill him the fungular entertainment way, featuring Sheldon <laughs> Cooper from the Big Bong Sorority. Oh god. But if you do this, you're basically annihilating all enjoyment from orbit. I personally recommend standing there and just waiting for Jeff to, uh, present. So enjoy that second phase while you can, because this music is a gift from God. Both shots and what run so oh, how pretty all the scenery this is nature's path This is as bad shit as it looks Fuck! Forgot the lyrics! Oh, he's through it, man! Nova Paradise! 
Can you tell that's huh. my favorite song? It's so good. I upgrade Raiden's item as we board a helicopter being driven by a... Uh, uh, doctor, how did you get an aircraft? <laughs> oh, credit card debt. Of course. <laughs> by the way, Raiden, do you remember that bank you sent to the past tense? It was like carving a pumpkin. Well, I think you missed one. I can't go to prison, Raiden. Why? Because you play Genshin? No, Raiden. I'm a Nazi. <laughs> Well, time to kill myself. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> There's so much Hearts of Iron to play. I'm gonna not see you in a second. <laughs> not today, I guess. So, Doctor tries to kill Raiden anyways, and he responds by dividing the public. The hard way. Bombs. Bombs? So, Raiden hits his ah. head so badly that he lands in a, uh, a different game. The volume is what? a little bit up. You know, it's just slightly, uh... It's kind of loud. The graphics are, um, a little different. Raiden heads to the gas station and uses the Zombatsu to cut through the environment dynamically. Yeah, that, uh, that seems like how it works. This isn't even Metal Gear Rising anymore. I'm just playing Roblox games. Raiden survives the impact of a sedan when I was a child and gets utterly destroyed in Denver again, just like me on a Saturday night, and is forced to play a previous level, but backwards. Thank you, level designer. Okay. Oh shit, a free bike. Don't worry, it's a rental. There are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Oblivion? Solheim. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for new recruits. Right, and you ran over a child nine miles back. What are you going to do? Good day. Okay. Also, uh, I would also like a free bike. If it's not a motor version, because like, I cannot drive a motorbike. Now you decide to stop. I'm running late. Oh, don't worry, Raiden. The clown college ah, is closer Sam. than you think. Yeah, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Kill yourself. Your ass will always be cringe, and my ass will always be thick. 497 <laughs> North Parker Drive. Oh, good. <laughs> You're getting more based by the day. But I live with my mother. Is this her house? Ah, this fight. In this duel between two equally matched swordsmen of various speeds, it's up to us to defeat the weakest Brazilian male. This guy's out here <laughs> making the rainforest look like a fucking joke. And the best part is, there's no bullshit in this fight. No minions, no shields, no monsoon telling me about fucking Among Us. It's just you, the sunset, and the soil. This it is actually a very dramatic fight. Like, this could easily have been, like, a final battle of, the, of any game. It's really good. This is the best boss ever, holy shit. Raiden disarms Wham Slam Bam Sam, which causes him to lose his McFucking marbles, and this somehow makes the fight harder. I mean, yes, he straight up punches you. Without his sword, he's hard to- Hey, Raiden, look at this cool bug I found. <laughs> oh, Raiden, no need to flip out. Dude's got thunder thighs bigger than the power grid. Sam will test every single neuron in your corpus callosum with unrelenting and dangerous attacks, strong enough to burn a hole in my Adderall supply. It's not a drug problem, it's a drug solution. And that is just phase one. God help you when he picks up that sword again. Fly. There will be blood. Shit. Guess I don't have a choice. I challenge you to a debate. What the fuck? No. Dies of cringe. <laughs> so Ryan goes to inspect. <laughs> the die challenge you to debate. No. Dies of cringe his kill like a cat only to realize that he has no cybernetic enhancement this man dunked on Raiden harder than Kobe yeah. after he threw an AV unit and he did it by juicing Raiden steals his Clifford the Big Red Sword with a five-star gotcha rarity and 33% crit rate Raiden God you damn. have a motorcycle why are you sprinting there why don't we just relax and turn on the radio we're like, fam oh, oh, yes yes that's good 
Damn, dog, give me some of that. Why did McFucking breaks into NASA so he can go somewhere quickly? You see, the current president, George Bush, has made a horse race across America. That way, ah. he can assemble all of the votes and activate the guns of the Patriot Act. But to understand what that means, we have to head to a previous game. It's Metal Gear Solid 4 again, and the Clinton Foundation controls the entire planet. The only ah. thing standing in their way is the now unsolid snake, because he's old. David, I want you to meet someone very important to me. His name is Joe Biden. I have kept him alive using the miracle of child sacrifice. We choose truth over facts. And I'm gonna choose death over life. Wow, that sure made everything easy to understand. Oh my god, it's my Completely. dad. Oh fuck up, I've returned with a puppy. <laughs> yeah, anyways, do you know where daddy can buy some- This kid is adorable. It, like, in the game, She's adorable. Cigarettes. Last time you got those, you disappeared for 10 years. I know. So have you ever heard of NFT trading? No, uh, what is that? Well, you start by buying a monkey. Can oh, you God. feed the monkey? Nah, but you can sell it for a rocket or some shit. That's great, honey. I'll be right back. Now with our transportation acquired, we blast off into fucking space. Our goal is to reach the utopia of Pakistan and stop the evil empire of America from initiating yet another military incursion called Operation Tecumseh. Finally, I have tracked down the great Satan to his source. Now this clip will make me a mark. <laughs> they took up cats and can't have shit in Detroit. <laughs> Fuck. Jock al Radin goes to the base so as to convince the boot boys the error of their ways and appear on Indian news networks to justify nuclear conflict. Okay. Raiden, have you heard of the hit game Among Us? You God damn it. Event, Raiden, I know it will be hard to be silent. God you might damn have it. something funny about this level. It's, uh, it's, it's three the fucking rooms. Fast the developers fucking meme. gave up, so, so do I. Raiden plays the real game until he finds the cast of iCarly. Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state when nearly 14 million years ago, Raiden discovers his dog after being made into a Family Guy episode. No, Aww. I wanted to feed you that chocolate. Before Aww. a gigantic McFucking crab evolves from the goddamn soil like a thousand years. It's a giant enemy crab. Hit his weak point for massive damage. See, I can also meme. Your old cicada. What the fuck? Uh, well, if it isn't sussy. The man Bro, himself. Are you high? Let me check. Yes. <laughs> high on American spirit. <laughs> okay, so quick disclaimer before I continue. Uh I I have not seen these videos in their entirety, but I have seen like clips. Especially of this dude. Especially of Armstrong, so I know some of the jokes are incoming. I'm still gonna laugh probably cause, because god damn it. And there's nothing more American. <laughs> and there's nothing more American than shooting a man in this Walmart of a world. What is Walmart? It's heaven, Raiden. Check the internet lately. Raiden, hop on Twitter. You need to see this. Fuck, I hate this website. It's all fucking weep shit, Raiden. It doesn't make any sense. They're being distracted with other nonsense. These baboons don't even know they're at war with Pakistan. This one's calling me a Redditor. <laughs> and that's just the beginning. E-girls, gotcha. Memes, all just petty distractions so real men can get down to business. Amogus. And as you know, American <laughs> imperialism is absolutely justified because we had a black president once <clears throat> before I fucking killed him. That's a nice argument, Senator. Here it comes. You back it up with a source. My, My source, source is that I made it the fuck up. Imagine a world ride in free of cancel culture where no one can call me out for my outlandish claims. A world where I can say the N word. What? Excuse me? Also, I accidentally closed down the chat. One moment. There we go. Now I can see it again. Also, what? No. Catch. I've got my own to debate online. I did messages. In this battle against Microsoft Excel, we are faced this, with a this boss is the too meme large song. to be fun and are relegated to enduring his onslaught from the inside of the Forever Box. This battle is a classic case of wait for him to do anything, just like Congress. And like Congress, when he does do something, it usually hurts you. Fortunately, this music is excellent and fits one-to-one -one with All I Want for Christmas. I'm not joking. Although, for some reason, Biden can parry several tons of crush force. Maybe my sister... Why? Would you do that? Now I'm gonna think about that for like a day. Why? Could have done that against my stepdad. Raiden suplexes the giant lobster for the second time today. Then he yanks off his arm to have a sword fight. Yes. Every other game is now worse because they don't have this. It's so Check cool. Check it out, Raiden. I just got vaccinated. Oh God, he's hot. Time to hit the gym. I don't so, have much. Armstrong is amazing. Your face could use some work. Really? Sonic Frontiers also has a uh, 
a sword fight where your character wields an oversized sword against another mecha that also uses a sword. Really? Huh. The US should begin playing Sonic Frontier soon. Susie would be able to clarify for sure. Hope you can afford healthcare, Raiden, because the taxpayer can't. <laughs> it's funny because thousands of people die. Don't no, fuck I with this, Senator. Oh, yeah. What? Snap into a Slim Jim. Uh, literally, uh, literally steal the boss's sword and stab him with it. Badass. Typical politician. All cock, but no cum. Land of opportunity. American dream. It's all bullshit. The success of a nation is determined by materialistic and socioeconomic factors. Read a fucking book. <laughs> The truth, then. Us politicians aren't so trustworthy. We'll steal, make shit up, even lie to our voters. That's crazy. I know it's very hard to believe, but that's just what the USA is all about, Jack. Not hiding our theft and murder, but embracing it. Whether it's votes, whether it's money, especially money. Fuck all these limp dick YouTubers and chicken shit Redditors. Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of Discord and VTuber bullshit! I'm gonna build a new future, Jack. One where we won't have to hide our stealing from anyone. And for that, I want you by my side to build- The- the- like, the thing is that in the game, they're having an actual really good conversation about all the politics and stuff like that. It's really fucking good. But this is also weirdly on point. The world truly free from the consequences of our actions. Like, Just in its own meme way. Like the Founding Fathers intended. What do you say, Raiden? Why not try to say it? Just once. I was wrong about you, Senator. You're not cringe. They were cringe. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, going back, also, past jam on that face. Was it the Democrats and Republicans agreeing on which third world nation to vaporize? You're just fucking racist. What's it too? What the fuck was that? <laughs> God damn it! We're making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. I'm sorry, Senator, but this is my Metal Gear Rising revengeance. Hey, the me. Oh, it's the meme. Just like me trying to make history. You need to work on your fitness. What? I remember when Neville played the game, it was iconic how Ra Raiden seemed to agree with him and the guy basically flipped around becoming all friendly core. Yeah, exactly. Because Armstrong, all Armstrong wanted was to like, like show Raiden the error of his ways and have him join him so he can help him make this, this world that he wanted to create. And when he see, like when he thought he had gone through to Raiden, he was like, oh shit, let me dust you off a little bit. Let me like help you feel a little bit. Like, yeah. <laughs> Sitting its dick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's try that again. You need to work on your fitness. What? Sitting its dick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> My blood is red, white, and blue, Jack. I wonder what color yours is. Wait. Raiden. Brian Griffin. You can't give up yet. Think about every mentally deranged moron you fought up until this point. You've always had the strength to overcome. Whether it was violence in movies or sex on TV, God damn it. I was always lucky there was a family guy. Even if your IQ was the room temperature of Alaska, you <laughs> were the best Chia pet ever made. Sam put a fucking speaker in his sword. That's right. I finally uploaded my consciousness into my gaming setup. Raiden, the reason you're cringe is not because you ain't skilled, but because you ain't ballin' on that stank-ass Windows 95 pewter. Even in death, he's on crack. Just this once, I'll lend you my setup so you can know what it's like to be a real gamer. You're my little dog champ. <laughs> I've always said my sword was a tool of justice. Not a weapon, but a way to bring back those good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. But this isn't Not my, my sword. sword. Honestly, honestly, without jokes, without memes, that was one of the coolest moments in the entire game. Though, like... I said my my sword was a, a tool of justice, not used for vengeance and all that stuff. And then, but 
This isn't my sword. It's like, yeah, let's fucking go, Raiden. Let's fucking go. It's a fucking mistake. Hey, what's up, guys? Maxor here. Welcome to the final bond. You know, he can be a... This guy's a little, uh... You know, he's pretty hard. We're here after extensive cutscenes to finally teach America that violence is never a solution. It's a... And it are... Yes. Yes, you do. I... Oh, God. Oh, this fight is incredibly fucking hard. Question, and the answer is yes. Start praying, boy. Ah! Dwayne The Rock Johnson's immense strength and talent for volcanic eruptions comes from his ability to switch between a culture vulture and Obama at will, channeling the power of both races to whoop your ass back to Roblox. But among his many racial talents, our buff buzzard is fast, has a great singing voice, and possesses forklift certification. When you Excuse die, me? it will be in accordance with OSHA regulations. But after spending enough time in the oven, our athletic aesthetic disarms Raiden and reports to his chiropractor for an adjustment. This guy beats up more biracial people than a police officer. Armstrong <laughs> even has the power to receive the light of Allah, which bestows upon him miraculous healing wisdom. Needless to say, this fight is fantastic, combining and expanding on every skill we've acquired on our long and arduous journey for a final battle that truly tests our mettle. Yeah. This isn't even the first time Raiden has stabbed a politician to death, but if I get my way, it won't be the fucking last. <laughs> this is a threat. The blood stain sand. God, these things are so good. Yeah, just now you say it, uh, Q Soldier. I am surprised that he didn't do a uh, Nano Machine Sun reference. Huh, just, I just realized that. One of the one of the biggest memes to have come out of this game. And he didn't reference it. Huh. Too easy? I can see that. You know, I'm starting to have a change of heart. Yeah, I can tell. That's why you're the best, Jack. You always wore my heart on your sleeve. <laughs> oh, God. I hear another goddamn pun. If you kill me, Jack, you'll finally be free. Free to follow your heart. Okay, that's a thing. <laughs> And in other news, a United States senator tragically passed away this morning after a botched open heart surgery. Honey, can we please stop watching obituaries? You'll be on there next if you don't shut the fuck up. Oh shit, my Blackberry. Good news, Jonathan. We've got a new job opening for you. Ah, that's great, Doc. Yeah, and Amazing. this is for a ninja cyborg. Ninja cyborg? Doesn't Raiden do that? Oh yes, Raiden. Uh huh. Well, um, the police might be after him for that vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> Manslaughter doctor? I did that shit on purpose. Oh god. Huh. Amazing video. Amazing videos. And again, like, I understand. Okay, I'm gonna wait until the video goes. Oh my goodness. Alright, but like... I can see why that these two videos were the videos that like... Really launched his channel. At least like, when I first heard of Maxor, it was because of an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising. That were the videos that I... Uh, like, first heard of. And... I can completely see why they are so freaking good. These videos were amazingly fun.